In the last video we saw an important idea, which was that multiplying by i has the effect of rotating vectors 90 degrees counterclockwise. And so let's do a few examples of how we would show multiplications geometrically. So in the first example, I'm going to do 6i times i. So how do we depict that geometrically? Well, there's a few ways you can do it, depending on how you, where you want to start. But let's just say we start at, we start at 6i. So we start here. So that means I go up and I plot 6i on my number line, or on my complex plane, I should say. Again, this is the imaginary axis we know, and that's the real axis. So there's 6i. And what effect does this have? Well, by multiplying by i, we know that's going to rotate my vector 90 degrees, clockwise, counterclockwise. And so I indicate that here. And since I'm not changing its length, I know that brings me to this point right here, which is negative 6. And of course, we know that that is what exactly we get when we do the multiplication out algebraically, because we get 6 times i times i, and i squared is negative 1. So it's, uh, so it's 6 times negative 1, which is negative 6. How about... In this example here, what if we did um, 6i times negative 1? So we start with 6i. Let's do the same thing. We start here. And we know that that has the effect, that negative 1 multiplying by negative 1 has the effect of rotating 180 degrees. Notice it doesn't matter that you say 180 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise because it just brings you to the same place. So how would we represent that? Well, here's 6i. 6i. And rotating 180 degrees would bring me down here to negative 6i. And of course, we know that's what you get when you actually do the multiplication out too. And how about the, le the next example? Let's say we wanted to do um, negative 6i times i. Negative 6i times i. Well, we could say that we are starting at negative 6i. And we are ro being rotated. Ninety degrees counterclockwise. So negative six i is here, and we're rotating ninety degrees counterclockwise, and that brings me here to six. And obviously, we know that if you do negative six i times i, because i times i is i squared, which is negative one, negative six times negative one indeed is six. So the whole the the geometry the geometric meaning of of multiplying by i is is being confirmed by our algebra and vice versa which is a good thing um and here let's just we have one more example let's why don't you go ahead and try negative 6i times negative 1 and you should see that means we start here at negative 6i and because we're rotating by 180 degrees, we're going to be moving up here to 6i. So there is the geometry of multiplying by complex numbers.